Good morning. Thank you for joining me this morning. Coffee is important. If you don't bring your coffee to yoga, then you're just not doing it right. <clears throat> All righty. Sit up nice and tall on a chair, preferably a chair that's got uh, some good support to it. Putting your haunches up against the back of the chair. I want you to lean all the way back. Forgot my light. Hang on. Oh, surface of the sun. There. All righty. Leaning all the way back. Sit up nice and tall. Lengthen through your spine. Breathe and just lay, lean back, supporting your upper back. Try and stay nice and tall when you lay back. Take nice deep breaths. Filling up your lungs. Inhale, cleansing breaths. Exhale, release tension. Imagine that you could just take off any stressors or tensions or things that are worrying you or bothering you. Like you could just take them off your back like a knapsack and just kind of leave them next to you. You have the choice if you need to pick them back up again later. Just let them slough off. Breathe in and relax. Today our intention is going to be about what we choose to pick up and what we choose to leave and how we do have that choice. You know, take your neck, take your head over to the right side, opening up the left side, lengthening through the side of your neck. Slide your left hand off your lap, opening it up a little bit more. Now I want you to lift your fingertips on your left hand and push your heel of your hand towards the floor. Feel that stretch increase some more. Relax your fingers, relax your hand. Tuck your chin, roll it into the center, return your hand to your lap. Lifting your head up. Take your ear over to the left this time, opening up. Slide your hand off your lap. Just let it dangle there, opening up your neck. Lift your fingertips, push through the heel of your hand. Breathe. Relax your hand. Tuck your chin. Gently roll it to the center. And I want you to keep your chin tucked nice and tight, opening up the back of your neck. Then gently begin lifting your head up. Lift it to the ceiling. Open up your throat. And breathe. And then bring it back to center. Bring your upper back off the chair. Sit up tall. Shoulders over your hips. And someone wanting to join. Okay. All right. Shoulders over your hips. Lengthen nice and tall. Arms to either side. Palms down. Just reach in opposite directions. And relax the reach. Flip your hands the palm up. Keep your elbows soft. Flatten the palm of your hand. Stretching across your chest. Lead with your thumbs and open a little bit more. Open to the back. And then come back to the center. And again, inhale, open up, and 
and back to center. Inhale, open. Exhale, back to center, all the way to the front. Palms up. Reach forward with your palms up. Keep your shoulders over your hips. Don't round your back. Just pull your shoulders forward. And now pull your shoulders back. Take them forward. And take them back. Take them to neutral. Palms down. Reach them forward again. And back. Forward again. And back. Rotate the palms out. Take a deep breath. Exhale and push out. All the way back. And relax. Pull out your shoulders. Do a little twist in your spine. Warm up your back. Stay tall. Take a side, rotate, and pause. You don't have to go very far, just a little bit. And then continue to turn your head, look over your shoulder. Come back to the center, a little rotate. And turn your head, or turn the direction, and take your head over that shoulder. Keep your legs relaxed. And come back to the center. Roll your shoulders around, big rolls. And then go the other direction. And relax. We're going to ignore our shoulders for a second. We're going to do our legs. So if you have a strap or a belt or a towel, so you can lasso the foot. I want you to come forward on your chair just a little bit. Take a foot, support it with a strap, belt, towel, whatever you got. Sit up nice and tall. Shoulders over your hips, lengthen through your spine. Take a deep breath. Exhale, flex your foot and lift. Just try and make it parallel with the floor. So you don't have a way down here. Use your arms and hold it up if you can. Try not to lean back. Try and stay tall. Breathe. Just try and relax that leg for a moment. Relax the thigh. Relax the calf. We're going to do some breathing motions. So we're going to inhale out, exhale in. Three of them. Inhale out, exhale in. Try and go the speed of your breath instead of speeding your breath up to do your leg. Now we're going to go up. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Up. And all the way to the floor. And relax. And switch legs. All right. Take, sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Flex your foot. Lift it up. Try and make that. Leg parallel with the floor. Nice 90 degree angle with your body and your foot. Breathe. Try not to lean back. Try not to let it drop too far down. Try and keep it parallel. Use both the strength in both hands to make it parallel. Breathe and focus on relaxing that leg. The thigh, the calf, toes. Now we're going to breathe with function. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Breathe in as you go out. Exhale as you go in. Last 
that's one. Now we're going to go up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Last one up. And all the way down to the floor. Shake it out. Relax your strap. We use a lot of finger strength. Stretch our fingers. So take a palm, face up, and you're going to use all five fingers, and you're going to press through that palm. You're going to take this elbow and lock it in next to your ribs. And press your palm. Opening up your wrists, opening up your fingers. Try not to shrug your shoulders. Relaxed. Sit tall. Breathe. And relax. You're going to push on the back of your hand or pull on your fingers. And relax. Shake that one out. Other hand. All five fingers. Lock the elbow into your ribs. And down. Breathe. Try not to shrug that shoulder up. Try and keep it level. Relax. Back of the hand. Four fingertips. Whichever feels better. Breathe into the stretch. Sit up tall. Engage your abs. Lengthen your spine. Relax and roll out your wrists. And I've just now realized that my music is not playing. So I'm going to go see if I can get it to play. <laughs> Relax your thighs. 
this whole phone in my pocket. All right, sit up nice and tall and hold, hold your leg up there. Either with the strap, blanket, towel, belt, whatever you can come up with, or with your hands. Try not to arch your back. Try not to stick your butt out. Try and sit up tall. Get comfortable in that position for a moment. Soft gaze at the floor. Keep your back flat, keep your shoulders lined up and just lean forward slightly. Don't yank on your leg to pull forward. Lean forward. Relax your inner thigh, your outer thigh, your butt, your low back. Lengthen through the crown of your head. So every time you inhale, you're going to think of long spine, long lengthen. Every time you exhale, you're going to think of sinking forward a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink. Open up your hip, open up your glutes. I want you to stay in this forward position. And I want you to rotate your chest to your bent knee. Stay tall and lengthened in your spine. Rotate your chest back to the center. Nice and slow, bring yourself back up. And you can switch sides. Shake that leg out. Sitting up nice and tall, both butt bones are rooted into the ground, rooted into the seat. Holding on to the leg with your hands or support or apparatus. Try and make sure you're sitting even on both butt bones. You're not leaning into one or the other. You're nice and even. Your spine is long, your abdomen wall is engaged, supporting your spine. When you sit tall and long from that crown of your head. Breathe. Get comfortable in that position. Try and relax the inner outer thigh, glutes. And just gently flat back, come forward. Don't yank on your leg. Make it nice and slow. Breathe into it. Try not to hold your breath. If breathing becomes ragged, that is the first sign that you've gone a little too far. Back it off so you can breathe. Try and re-relax those points of stress. Inner and outer thigh, glutes, hamstring maybe, maybe your back, maybe your shoulders, maybe you're just holding on for dear life, trying to not relax. Inhaling, lengthening, exhaling, sinking. Keeping this forward bend, I want you to take the chest and rotate towards that bent knee. Breathe. Nice and slow, bring yourself back to the center. Gently, slowly come back up. Release your leg. Release your strap. Shake them out, move them around, whatever feels good. Uh, roll your hips around in circles. Roll your back around. Whatever feels good. We're going to get up and we're going to do some balance. So make sure you have something that you can hold on to if you feel like you need to. Let's see. My coffee out of the way 
this or I don't take it. I can be back. All righty. Okay, so right first I want you to start with your hip, your feet right underneath your hips. Have, it doesn't matter where you have your apparatus to hold on to if you need it. It can be on the side, it could be in front, wherever you need it. But start with nice and level mountain pose. Mountain pose simply means that you have your feet right under your hip joints. You have your shoulders stacked right over your hips. You have your abdomen wall engaged, so you're supporting through your spine, and you're lengthening through the crown of your head, nice and tall. Your knees are soft, they're not locked out. Relax your arms at your side. Hold on to one if you need to. You're gonna come up on your toes. Up on the tippy toes. Find your focal point, keep your balance. Breathe. And come back down. Weights even over both feet. Feel the outlying edges of your feet all the way around. Come back up on your tiptoes. Breathe. You can use either one arm or two arms. Arms out. Find your balance. Hold on if you need to. Rotate your shoulders so palms go up. My head is completely cut off. Rotate so your palms go down and slowly come down. Back on the flat feet. All right. You need to move around a little bit because you've been standing in one spot. We're going to go back to toss to uh, mountain pose. You're going to take the weight of your body and transfer it to your left foot. So you have no weight on the right even though it's still touching the ground. Now I want you to lift this hip up and take your weight off, put it back down. Lift the hip up, put it back down. Lift the hip up, put it back down. Lift the hip up, put it back down. Transfer your weight to the other side. All the weight's over here. You have no weight on this foot. You're gonna keep the leg straight, don't bend the knee. Gonna lift that hip up, put it back down. Up, put it back down. Up, put it back down. Lift it up, put it back down. Transfer your weight over to both feet evenly. Shake it out, move your hips if you need to. Touch your knees, curl your toes, move them around, whatever feels good. Now I want you to take your feet, open a little bit wider. A little bit wider. All right. Be nice and tall, knees are soft, abs are engaged, lengthen through the crown of your head. Ready, up on your toes, and down. Up on your toes, and down. One more, we're gonna hold it up this time, find your focal point, find your balance, hold on if you need to. Breathe, we're gonna use Either one arm or two arms, palms down, bring them straight forward. Shoulder level, don't go any higher than your shoulders. Rotate palms out, up to palms up. Open them out, knee with your thumb. Rotate palms down, and everybody come down. Shake it out, good job. All right, now we're gonna go to the floor. So move your stuff out of the way, make yourself a little space. I'm going to move the camera so that you can see me better. Here I am. All right. We're going to start seated. I know. I should have told you that before you lay back. You're going to seated, legs out in front of you. You might want to get a strap or a 
or a um, belt or towel or something. Make sure you pull your excess booty up so you sit right flat on your sit bones. And I want you to make sure your toes are up. Don't let them fall out. Keep your toes up. And just sit up nice and tall from your spine to the crown of your head. If you need a little bit of support, just to sit up tall even, you can put that strap around the bottom of your feet and it will give you some additional support. Okay? Not required, but it is a support mechanism to sit up tall. Try not to lean back. If you are using the strap, don't lean into it. Reach down as far as you need to to help sit up tall. Relax your thighs, relax your knees. Breathe. It makes it a lot easier to relax those legs if you do utilize a strap or something. Breathe. Breathe. Lengthen through the crown of your head. I want you to keep your back tall and flat, and I want you to just come forward. You can use a strap and pull, but I don't want you to round. I want you to stay tall. Come forward. You can grab your pant legs. You can grab your knees. You can grab your thighs. You can grab your feet. Whatever you need, you have available to you or you're able to grab to help you come forward. Just whatever you do, don't round yet. Stay tall. Relax your thighs. As you pull on the back, the front starts to squeeze in. Try and get those to relax. Allow the stretch to come. Breathe into it. And come back up. Nice and slow. And you can take it all the way back. Check those legs up. Two. Okay, come back up. Nice and tall. Move that sit bones if you need to. One more time, sitting tall for a moment. Abs are engaged, lengthen through the crown of your head. You have a nice 90 degree angle from your leg to end your body. Lengthening, use the strap or pant legs or towel or whatever you need or have. Help support, flat back, come forward. Just a little ways. Try and relax those thighs again. Breathe. Now I want you to take your shoulders and allow them to round over. Drop your head. A little more stretch. You may be able to reach further down your legs, grabbing your ankles. You may just get to your, whatever feels good or you're able to do. But I want you to check in with your breath. If you're struggling to breathe, back off a little bit. Pull your belly in, slowly roll, stack your spine all the way up. Releasing your legs, shaking them out, and allow yourself, you can roll back onto your mat now. Draw those knees up, roll around a little bit, breathe. All right, put both feet flat on the floor, comfortable distance away from your glutes, hip width apart. Make sure your shoulders and hips are all lined up. Check in with your breath. I 
want you to engage your abdomen and I want you to squeeze it nice and tight. Imagine that you are being punched in the belly. So you're not bearing down. You're not sucking it in and pushing your back flat. You're just engaging your abdominal wall all the way from your rib cage down to your hip bones. Breathe, hold it, and use that and press flat. Relax your butt, don't let it, don't let your butt be used. Just use your abs and press your back flat. Your breathing will be a little shallower. Relax your calves, relax your thighs. This is all abdominal wall. Breathe. And relax. Everything relax. Squeeze your glutes. Hold that quarter between your cheeks. Squeeze it nice and tight. Relax your belly. You should be nice and soft. You can look around on it. You have no reactions. Squeeze and then push your back into the floor. Feel your tailbone round up slightly. Squeeze and hold. Try and relax your calves again. Relax your thighs. This is just your butt. Relax your belly. Relax your shoulders. And release. Take a nice deep breath. Engage the abdomen wall again. Keep it nice and tight. Relax your butt. Relax your thighs. Just holding it. Supporting. And then push your back into the floor. Breathe. And relax. One more time with the glutes. Hold them nice and tight first to start. Belly is soft. Thighs are relaxed. And then press the back into the floor. Re relax the calves, thighs. Squeeze the butt. Relax the belly. to take your knees and take them right from the position that the feet are now. Roll your knees over to the right. You don't have to go all the way to the floor. You can actually put something underneath your thigh if you need some support. You're going to feel your left hip lift up off the floor. Breathe. Pull your belly in. Push it to the floor so you can draw the knees back up. Do the same thing. Realign everything. Shoulders and hips are lined up. Feet are lined up in your hips. Start to roll your knees to the left. Feel your right glute lift off the floor slightly. Roll them as far as you can. Come to with it some support if you need to. Support for your back. If your knee bothers you at all, flex your feet and have the weight in your heels. Breathe. Now, draw those abs in like we were doing. Pulling your back to the floor so it helps to draw the knees back up. Line them back up and center them. Breathe. Now, I want you to come to tabletop, which means that your knee is right over the top of your hip, and your knee and your ankle are level with the floor. So both legs will come to tabletop. Use your abdomen support to help support keeping those legs up. And I want you to slowly take both knees over to the right. Keep your chest open. Now you can put something underneath your knees if you need to for support. You could also put something in between your knees for some support if you need to. If you don't feel like you need to and you can take a little more stretch, you can put that hand on the top of your thigh and help press it all the way to the floor. Keep your chest wide and open. This left hand on this side, open it up to the shoulder level. Turn your head and look at your left thumb. Breathe. Bring your head back first. 
You have a couple of ways you can get out of this. You can roll the rest of your body to the right, pull your knees in and roll up, or you can just pull your knees up one at a time, back to center. But I want you to do whatever is easiest for you, whatever puts less strain on your body. Once you get back to the center, work yourself back into tabletop. Shoulders and hips are lined up, knees and hips are lined up, knees and ankles are lined up. Breathe, engage that abdomen wall, have everything supported because you have all this weight sitting up here by itself. And just slide your hips, your knees to the left, keeping your right arm out and open. Remember, put something under your thighs, between your thighs, or you can put pressure on the tops of the thighs so you can open up more. Turn your head and look at your right thumb. Breathe. Breathe into the stretch. Find the support that you need. And I want you to get out of it safely. So turning your head first, bringing your arm in if you want. You can roll to the left and then roll in together. Or you can roll one leg at a time. Whatever is easiest for you that puts the least amount of pressure, least amount of stress on your back knees. You get roll back up, roll around a little bit, breathe, and both feet flat on the floor. Take your right leg and straighten it out, slide it across along the floor. Keep your left one up, left knee up. And I want you to flex your right foot, squeeze your right glute, squeeze your right calf. Flexing that foot, pressing that entire right leg straight down to the floor. Press it down. Right arm overhead. Shoulder comes up to your ear. Reach as far as you can. You're going to lengthen this right side, engaging the entire right side. If you need some support with that left leg, push that foot to the floor and squeeze your left foot as well. It'll take a little pressure off the right side. Breathe. Slowly start to take your straight arm, fingers to the ceiling, shoulders still on the mat. Keep your foot flexed, pull your belly in, straight leg up to the ceiling. Breathe, stack right over the joints, hip and shoulder. Flex foot. And bring them together a little bit more. Breathe. Bend your knee, bend your elbow, return to the floor. Relax and breathe. Slide your left leg out straight. Engage the glute, engage the thigh, engage the calf, flex the foot. Push the length of that leg into the floor. Left arm comes up overhead. Shoulder comes up next to your ear. Reach as far overhead as you can. If you need some support, press into the right foot and right foot also. Takes a little bit of stress off the left side. Breathe. Lengthen, feel long and tall. Starting with the arm, shoulder rotates to bring the hand up right above the shoulder. Squeeze those abs, pull the belly in, straight leg comes up, take the foot right above the hip, breathe, flex foot, and bring them together a little bit more, just for a moment, bend your knee, bend your elbow, bring it back down. Walk your feet to the outside edges of your mat, and let's do some flopping, y'all, it works hard today. Flop both knees over to the right. Put something underneath that right outer thigh if you need to for a little bit of support. Support for your inner thigh, support for your 
back. Great. You can always take your legs out longer. You can always pull your knee, your feet in further. Whatever feels comfortable to you. But you get a little bit of a stretch in the front and your thigh on the left side. Squeeze that left glute, push the hip forward a little bit. Relax your glute, pull your belly in, draw your knees up, and fly. And both knees over to the left. Roll up on the sides of your feet. Put some support if you need to. Under that left thigh. Relax through your glute. Relax through your belly. Find that spot where those knees feel the best. Whether both feet pulled in or open up more. Breathe. Squeeze the right glute. Press that forward. And relax your glute, pull your belly in, draw those knees back up and from side to side. Draw your knees in if you'd like to go around a little bit. So because the music didn't start like it was supposed to, the time and the music are so I think I'm going to get up and I'm going to skip a song or get to the end of the song because I know that Ross on time is coming and I want to be mindful of everybody's commitment and not go much over the hour if we can. So just roll around for a second. So it kind of ball while we have a chance. So uncross your leg, your ankles if you have them crossed, hands on your knees or on your shins or behind. Take a deep breath. Exhale, pull in nice and tight. And then relax. And there's that Savasana sound I was looking for. I knew it was about time. All right, so get comfortable, find your spots, find your stuff. In, again, I'm envious of y'all that do have access to a couch or a lounge chair that you can put those feet up there and just let them relax. Knees open. If you don't want to try and make them stay close, let them open up. Let them relax through that spine, relax that back. Or you can have your knees together and your feet open to the outside, or you can put a bolster underneath your knees if you like. Use something to block out that extra light. Turn it off if you're able to. If you want to get up to do it, you can do this whole thing in the dark if you want to. You have that flexibility. Arms at your side, palms up, or you can put the palms of your hands on your belly. Whatever feels most comfortable. I want you to take a few nice deep breaths. Fill your lungs all the way up. Fill them up, fill them up, fill them up. Purse your lips and force it out. And a big breath. Fill the lungs up. Nice deep, big breath. Purse your lips. 
and relax. And breathe. Allow your breathing to gently return back to normal. Do a body scan. Check it from head to toe. Is everything lined up? Is everything in a position that it could remain for a good 10 minutes or so? Check your body without judgment, without negative thoughts, without negative feelings. Be proud of what your body can still do for you. You may have put it through hell through your life. Have a moment to take care of it now. By letting it rest, letting it repair, letting it recover. I want you to bring your awareness right to the middle of your forehead. Relax your forehead. Relax your mind. Relax down over your eyes. Relax your jaw. Relax your throat. Relax your voice. Reminding yourself that your voice, volume, itch, all comes into play. Let it relax. Soft spoken words, kind words. Relax down the back of your spine. Trace from the, where your spine enters into your head. Trace all the way down your back bone, all the way down between your shoulder blades, down to the arch of your low back, all the way down. Coming off the very tip. Have a spinal relax. Relax the tops of your shoulders. Relax down your upper arms. Into your elbows. Forearms and palms of your hands. All of your fingers are relaxed. Reminding yourself that kindness is in the hands, in the deeds, and the motions. Allow your hands to spread kindness. Relax to the walls of your chest. Relax your heart. Allow your heart to feel sympathy. Allow your heart to be soft and kind. Relax down through your belly. Imagine your entire belly relaxing into your low back. Be kind to your belly. Feed it with good food. nourishment that it needs to help run your body. Lots of water. Lots of green. Lots of natural. Relax your hips. Relax into your glutes. Reminding yourself to try not to sit too much. Get up and move. Relaxing your thighs from your hip joints all the way to your knees. The thighs contain the largest muscle in the body. Powering you through walking, running. All the things that you've done in your life get you moving. Relax from your knees to your ankles. Releasing that calf muscle. Relax your feet. 
Your feet are strong. Your feet have taken you many places. Behind your feet. Feel your heavy body on the floor, on your mat. Feel the pressure points. Feel the heaviness. You can feel the lightness of your breath, the lightness of your heart. Taking us back to the beginning of class today, we talked about what we allow in. What do you allow in your heart that maybe you wish you didn't? What do you allow into your mind that maybe you wish you didn't? Can you put up your imaginary force field? Say, not today. Let it pass by. Can you imagine yourself building a wall? Maybe it's brick by brick. So maybe you can let less of it in at a time. Try not to overwhelm your heart, to overwhelm your mind. Imagine you carefully picking up each brick and you're taking that mortar or cement and you're spreading it on the brick and you're putting that brick down, creating a wall, one brick at a time, building that wall. That wall's not there to keep people out. Be necessarily away from them or to give you a place to hide. The wall is just there to protect you from the too much negativity. Allowing yourself a little bit of a filter. Maybe you're putting some fancy windows. You can see out, you know what's going on. But it doesn't have to be a part of your heart. It doesn't have to run around in your mind and create habits. But you know what's there. You know what's happening. You have some space to let love and light in. And some space to let love and light out. What color are your bricks? How would you decorate it? How do you protect your heart? How do you protect your mind from the evil, from the negative? Protect it until it is strong enough to fight for itself. Until it's strong enough to think for itself. Feed it good information, good food, laughter, friendship. Strengthen and fortify it. So when the bad stuff comes, you can see it, filter it, acknowledge it, and let it pass on by. Protect yourself. Be kind to yourself. Feel yourself on the floor. Feel your shoulders. Feel your hips. Feel your hands and your feet. Go ahead and wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Open and close, making fists. Close them in really tight. Squeeze in so you feel the fingertips in the palm and you feel those toes curl in really tight. And then open wide and stretch. Open through the webbing. Move them around a little bit so they all get stretched out in between each toe and in between each finger. Then roll your wrists and your ankles around. Bend and straighten your elbows and your knees. Squeeze and release your glutes from your shoulders. Bring your feet and legs together, arms overhead, belly and the spine, and lean to the wall. Relax. Draw one knee at a time into your chest. Roll from side to side. 
release any tension you feel. Remember as you go throughout your day to day, breathe in relaxation, breathe out tension. Gently roll yourself onto your side, whichever side feels most comfortable. Stack shoulders, hips, and knees. Three. Gently walk yourself up to a seated position when you're ready. Sit however you feel most comfortable. I want you to drop your head forward. Tucking your chin. And I just want you to roll your right ear to the right side. And then roll your left ear to the left side. Bring it back to the center. Lift your chin up. Lengthen it to the ceiling. And then bring it back down. Rotate to the right. Rotate over to the left. Come back to center. Shoulders, I want you to take them forward. Up to your ears. Roll them around back to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Drop your shoulders down and lift through the crown of your head so you're nice and long. Relax and roll your shoulders around. Circles forward and back. Whatever feels most comfortable. All right, using our arms, we're going to take our nice deep breaths. Inhale, arms up, reach out and up and lengthen tall. Exhale down. And another breath. Inhale, arms up, reach them up overhead, hands come together. Exhale down to your chest as you open your eyes. And namaste.